All right. You want to go to Lowe's first or get food first? It's up to you. When we come back from Lowe's, there is a chance you'll have to sit behind me because the wood might not there. All right. Art is fun in the same way that Dwarf Fortress is fun. If you do it long enough, you just reach the center of the earth and everyone dies. Or you get too many people and everyone starves to death. Either way, you can you can make art and make art and make art. And if there's no... If you don't get anything back from it, then you stop. People stop. I work with wood. Um, I make small things and large things out of wood. Yeah. My name is Nate Varnado. Uh, I'm an artist. I, I go by the name Splintersmith. I started off doing with stuff with popsicle sticks, so I moved up from there. And uh, I already had the tools to work with the popsicle sticks, so keep working with what you got, you know? Sometimes I have to special order stuff off the internet. Um, that's pretty easy to do. I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups and stuff and uh, Instagram tags, and I find there's people that sell hardwoods and, and whatnot on there. Colleges and universities and malls and businesses are really good for having nice hardwood bushes and trees on their campus and then they just cut them because they don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so I go get them. There are different woods for different reasons. I love poplar. Poplar is very light uh, so you can make big stuff with it. Um, oak is just beautiful. There, I don't know. There's lots of stuff. Oh, uh, zebra wood because it smells like chocolate chip cookies when you work on it. So the shop I have is a 10 by 10 uh, sun porch that I've put plastic up on the walls to try to keep some weather out. My market is not so much with woodworking as it is with nerd stuff. Like I make Harry Potter wands and I make D&D swords and Star Wars stuff. So <laughs> what I love to, to make is swords and uh, weapons. That's what I started off wanting to do. This giant sword I'm making is going to go to Washington. Redmond. Like, I have no mechanism for determining whether something I've done is actually any good. I don't know how to do that. I like it, maybe, but that doesn't mean anyone else will. So, when I got feedback from people that said, hey, this this is cool. We like this. I went, oh, shit, maybe I should do more. And I started growing from there, and I realized maybe I can turn this into something that is... I mean, I, I enjoy it, and I could potentially make my living with it. This is before I heard you really can't, but... At this point, I'm stuck on it, so... Uh, I don't know, that plus, you know, the, the dismal prospects of Social Security and retirement as a millennial. And... Uh, I don't know. I don't trust a pension. I don't really trust a 401k. If I can do something like this and actually make a business for myself, then... Um, I'd rather do that. It's not something anybody does for a living. Most of the time. Making it as a... An artist of any medium is difficult to turn into a job. Most of the people in the, the Facebook groups I'm on are retirees. They just do this for fun. Anybody else is, they've got like a full-sized carpentry shop and they're making cabinets and furniture and stuff that you can actually sell. I work four days a week, seven to 5.30. It's a half hour away. So by the time I get home, especially in the winter, it's dark, it's dinner time. I have a 10 year old daughter. She's got bed at 8.30 or nine. Um, we've got Cub Scouts. So that takes up time. Unwieldy and stupid. That's its point. The point of something like this is not grace and finesse. <laughs> this is a uh, hit your problems harder. I think the truth of a work-life balance is that's a myth. You don't, there's not, it's not a thing. The best you can do is dynamically uh, adjust to the specific needs at the time. If you've got events happening at work that require you to be at work more you gotta be at work more and when that happens your rest of your life suffers when work is chill and cool and you can kind of just go in for your eight hours and leave again sweet now it's time to ramp up all the rest of your life stuff when your life stuff is more than just one block when it's several small blocks that's when it gets extremely challenging you know, like I was talking about with the family things and, and all that stuff, and then this, and then friend commitments, and mundane shit like getting the car worked on, you know, whatever. Um, finding time for all that is extremely hard. I don't know. There's... Keep a notebook. <laughs> That's probably what I'd tell her. Get a planner. 